Students, here are some reminders during our online discussion. 1. Be on time. Make sure that you log in on your account and follow the given schedule of our discussion. 2. Sit comfortably. Refrain from lying around. Instead, sit comfortably and properly. Number 3. Avoid unnecessary comments on the chat box. Refrain from sending unrelated stickers or comments on the comment section. Four, stay focused and avoid interruption. Find a quiet and comfortable place to listen to our discussion. Number five, take down notes while listening or watching. Make sure you have your pen and paper with you throughout our discussion. And last but not the least, extend the help to your classmates. Let us all learn together and enjoy the rest of our discussion. Good day, Grade 9 students! You are watching Valenzuela Live. We're back for a brand new learning with a brand new year. Despite of what this pandemic has cost us, I know you still enjoyed staying at home by simply bonding with your family, playing exciting games, and listening to lively music. And speaking of music, have you ever wondered how people in the early times celebrate the season listening to classical music? I'm sure you will more likely prefer the modern music. But today, let's appreciate the beauty of classical music. I am Mom Jamie Buen from Valenzuela National High School and I will be your music teacher for today. So let's go ahead and explore the music of classical period. Here are the learning competencies for today's lesson. First, you will be able to describe musical elements of given classical period pieces. Number two, explain the performance practice, setting, composition, role of composers, performers, and audience during classical period. And relate classical music to other art forms and its history within the era. Let's see if you can still recall the previous lessons in music. Determine whether the following are characteristic of medieval, renaissance, and baroque period music. You have 5 seconds to type your answers to the comment box below. Number 1. Use new symbols representing 1 to 4 notes. Correct answer is M or medieval period. Good job! Number two, melody sounds are elaborated and ornamental. If your answer is B or baroque period, you are doing great. Number three, Melodies are easier to perform, mostly move in a line-flowing manner. The answer is M or medieval period. Next, number four, vocal music includes mass and madrigal. R or Renaissance period is the correct answer. Very good, grade 9 students. And last, number 5, includes Gregorian chants which are monophonic. If your answer is M or Medieval period, you are correct. Excellent! Well done, grade 9 students. It is good to know that you can still remember our previous lesson. Alright, so now to check your prior knowledge with our lesson for today, 
identify the following terms by unscrambling the letters to form the word. You have 10 seconds to type your answer on the comment box below. Number 1. It is known as Age of Reason or Age of Enlightenment. Correct! The answer is classical period. Number two, it is the first part of a composition in sonata form that introduced the theme. Very good! The answer is exposition. Number three, Sonata is derived from the word blank, which means to make a sound. The correct answer is sonare. Number four, it is a multi-movement work designed for an instrumental soloist and orchestra. The answer is concerto. And last, number five, it is a multi-movement work for orchestra. The correct answer is symphony. Excellent! You have identified the different terms being described. Congratulations! And now, to introduce to you the classical music, guess what cartoon show you have heard the music that I will play. Type your guess on the comment section below. The music was used in the cartoon show, Mr. Bean. This music was featured in the cartoon show Little Einstein. This classical music can be heard in the cartoon show Bugs Bunny. Classical period refers to an era that started from 1750 to 1830, which is also known as the Age of Reason or Age of Enlightenment, because it is the time of radical change in social values focused on human rights and freedom of religion. The period was marked by the rise of the lower and middle classes in which asserted itself in the French Revolution and the Napoleonic War. The literature and the arts in this period were influenced by the classical movement in which the ancient Greek and Roman culture reflected the society, characterized by having formal, elegant, simple, keyed, and dignified style. The orchestra went through two great changes. First, the harpsichord or organ fall out of use and replaced by the piano because of its ability to play much more softly than the harpsichord. The second major development 
was the increase in size and range of the orchestra. The woodwind instruments such as the horn, trumpet, clarinet, and flute became a self-contained section to create a new distinctive sound. In the middle of the 18th century, Europe began to move towards a new style of artistry called classicism. Instrumental music was patronized primarily by the nobility. The works of Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven were among the most popular during the classical era. Sonata, concerto, and symphony followed the instrumental forms developed during this period, while the opera seria and opera buffa were among the two vocal forms. The instrumental forms of the classical music are usually multi-movement, meaning it consists of two, three, or four movements, following a standard strict three-movement format with a quick opening, a slow middle movement, and a quick one to finish. Sonata is derived from the Italian term sonare, which means to sound. It refers to a piece of one or two instruments. Sonata can also refer to a composition for a larger instrumental group having two or three parts, such as a string quartet or orchestra. An example of sonata is Mozart's Sonata No. 16 in C major. Let us listen to the first movement of Mozart's Sonata No. 16 in C major. of the first movement is allegro which means fast. Now let's listen to the second movement. The second movement is andante, meaning moderately slow. And now let's proceed to the third movement. is allegretto, meaning faster than andante but not as fast as allegro. Sonata form, or sometimes called sonata allegro form, is a method of musical organization typically used in one or more movements of multi-movement instrumental works which has three basic elements. The exposition, where the two primary themes are introduced, the development, usually the shortest section where the music is explored and expanded based on at least one of the themes from the exposition but can be based on a new material. And recapitulation where the themes are repeated. An example of sonata form is the first movement of Serenade No. 13 in G major, also known as Eine kleine Nacht Music, a serenade by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. The German title means a little night music. Let's listen to the three structures of Eine kleine. <laughs> Thank you. 
Concerto is a multi-movement work designed for an instrumental soloist and orchestra. An example of concerto is Piano Concerto No. 5 by Beethoven. is fast sonata allegro form with expositions of the orchestra and then by the soloist. The second movement is slow and has more ornamentation. or fast finale is usually in a form of rondo. Symphony is derived from the word sinfonia, which means a harmonious sounding together. It refers to musical composition for orchestra. An example of a symphony is the Symphony No. 94, also known as the Surprise Symphony by Franz Joseph Haydn. The tempo of the first movement is adagio, meaning slow. The second movement is andante, meaning moderately slow. The third movement is allegro, meaning fast. The fourth movement is allegro, Meaning fast. You already have a hint why it is called the Surprise Symphony. It's because of the startling loud chord in the second movement. Now that you have an idea of the performance practice of classical period, let's break down the elements of their music to summarize our lesson. The texture is homophonic in general and the harmony used as accompaniment to melody were usually the primary chords. As for the melody, 
Have you realized how much you know more Mozart's tunes than Bach's? It's because the melodies are among the most tuneful and easiest to remember which define the classical period sound. Also, the crescendo-decrescendo idea of dynamics develop in contrast to the Baroque style. Lastly, the rhythm and beat was light while the tempo is moderate with frequent use of ritardando and accelerando. Let us assess how much you have learned from our lesson today. Let's have an activity. Prepare a pen and an activity notebook. Choose the letter of the correct answer. You have 10 seconds to write your answers in your activity notebook or in the comment section below. Which is a musical work with different movements for an instrumental soloist and orchestra? A. Concerto B. Rondo C. Sonata D. Symphony Number 2. Which is the general texture of classical music? A. Heterophonic B. Homophonic C. Monophonic or D. Polyphonic Number 3 which is a musical composition designed to be played by full orchestra? A. Cantata B. Concerto C. Sonata D. Symphony Number 4. Which is a multi-movement musical work for solo instrument? A. Cantata B. Concerto C. Sonata D. Symphony And number 5, which is called the Age of Reason? A. Baroque B. Classical C. Medieval or D. Renaissance Time is up. Now, let's check your answer. The answer for number one is letter A, concerto. For number two, it's letter B, homophonic. And for number three, letter D, symphony. For number four, we have letter B, concerto. And number five is letter B, classical. Did you get all the correct answers? Well done, grade 9 students! That ends our first lesson in music. Once again, this is Mom Janie Buen, and always remember what Plato said. Music is the movement of sound to reach the soul for the education of its virtue. I hope you learned a lot today. See you again in our next music lesson. Good day and stay safe!